here's another crab I found. This one I was out with Thiago. You can see it's got a bit of damage to the claws, but I had a good feeling about it. I thought it might crab easily. I go really slowly until I find the crab, especially at the top here. You don't want to punch through into the carapace and then damage it. Okay, there I found the carapace. Now I can speed up a bit more. As soon as you find the carapace, you know what your depth is. So with the air scribe, you can work a bit quicker. This one was a really easy crab to prep. It's just flaking away so nicely. Yeah, it's, <laughs> this is a good crab to prep. Over here somewhere, some, yeah, some oil came through from the compressor. <laughs> I had to clean that up. See the crab's gotten shiny there? That's the consolidant I've put on the B72, which is like a thin layer of plastic you put in there. And that just keeps the crab from flaking away. So as soon as you've exposed part of the crab, what I do is I just put some consolidant over it just to keep, you know, keep it safe, keep it from being damaged. Just because that air scribe is vibrating so, it's 11,000 times a minute. So all those vibrations are going into the crab. You don't want it to start flaking. Here I'm working on the claws again. And where the claws start getting black, it gets a bit sticky so they don't flake off as easily so I have to spend a bit more time on there and the one crab claw was getting really flaky you'll see I add a bit more consolidant now and again just to make sure it doesn't pop off there's some more consolidant on there now got the grinder out now I was going to start working on the bottom but there was about a three centimeter layer of rock which would take forever to get through with the air scribe that's about an inch of rock there that I'm removing in five minutes, which would take three hours with the air scribe. You have to be careful so you walk slowly. Uh, here I'm working on the stomach, the ventral side of the crab. Just working from the claw side. The claw actually started getting loose, it started vibrating, so you'll see me at one point. I put some more consolidant on it, this thing will get really shiny quite quickly. Especially, yeah, that one that's on the left at the moment, that claw, that yeah, was really, really loose. You can see there's a, there's a crack going all the way through the top side of it. And here I'm looking for the, the stomach. Ah, there we go. So once I find the stomach, uh, a bit of water that came through the compressor, had to drain it. As soon as you find the stomach there, you've got the depth, so you can work a bit quicker. Thing with the bottom of the crab, there's so many nooks and crannies in there that you have to clean out. So it takes probably two or three times as long as the top. A bit of more consolidant on there. And they also have a flap towards the bottom, I think where the females have their eggs in. And that can be really loose and damaged quite easily on these crabs. So once you've got that flap exposed, which I think I will pretty soon, you need to really take care with it because the rock holds everything in place but as soon as the rocks removed everything gets quite fragile so as soon as I clear out that bottom section yeah almost like the crab six-pack <laughs> you'll see I put quite a bit of consolidant on there just to keep everything in place if something pops off um, like it does from time to time you can still repair it but I mean it takes a long time yeah, there I'm getting to that flap now. There we go. Quite a bit of consolidant in there. That should keep it, keep it in one place. Yeah, almost done now. Need to sign it. Here's the finished product. I think it came out quite well. One day when I've got a more delicate scribe, I might come back at those claws there. I think I can expose a little bit more of the claws, but I'm real happy with that. It's joining the rest of the family, my crab family. <laughs> I think I'll show a few more close-ups over here. Yeah, there we go. It's just covering its eyes. What's amazing is you can see the little pores on, this, on the shell there. There's the bottom view. You can see how much more complex it is to clean.
Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And here's a quick sneak peek at my next project. That bottom crab is probably six or seven times as big as the one I just did. Looking forward to it.